How's it guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Kone. You guys also know me as Mr. Baldy. As you can see, that's the reason why I'm Mr. Baldy. Um, I'm just doing a quick little video now. I've had a couple of people come and ask me about what I like about the car and what I dislike about the car. Now, to be honest, I can't really find many things. Someone said I must do a five things I like about the car and five things I dislike. Now, when I was looking for different cars, now, um, Okay, rewind just a little bit. So, I'm a big car nut. My wife hates it. You know, I always look at different cars. I'm always on the network or internet and checking out what cars are available, what's, you know, watching YouTube, watching all these different videos. So, when I saw that Cherry was being released again back in South Africa, now, knowing the previous uh, generation with the Cherry QQ, if I remember if that was the name of it, um, yeah, that's how it did not leave an impression on us, obviously. Um, except for maybe the, I'm not even going to say the build quality, because I've seen some of them still running around. So the build quality is, they're strong engines, but I think the interior and that was just lacking. You know, it was a, a cheaper version of a, a Chevy Spark, which I think most people will agree to that's what it is, basically. Um, so anyway, so sitting in here, it with this one that I've got, I've got the 2022, okay, I don't have the, my 2022, which is the latest one, uh, with the adaptive cruise control and the uh, radar and the lane assist and all that, so I've got the, I bought mine in May, so May, I picked it up on the 11th of May, um, I've got the, what's the name, but Tigo 4 Pro Elite SE CVT, yeah, it's it's a it's a mouthful of a name, but yeah, I've got the top of the range uh, before the new My 22 came out, and I mean I love all the features, the uh, uh, ambient lighting, which when I first got into the car, I thought it was quite cool. So now I've got mine set so that you guys would have seen on the video. So when the music plays, it just changes according to the uh, music and the rhythm. Um, First time my wife saw it, she thought I, and still said to me, and asked if we were in a bloody disco. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I love the features. I love the uh, technology. You cannot get anything near, near the price for what you're getting here. Um, and I've looked. Uh, I've been searching literally since November last year. Um, so when Cherry announced that they were coming back into South Africa with this and they were going to you know, take over the market, you know, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, you know, trying to do what Haval did and all that stuff. But I think they are overtaking Haval. Um, Haval's a good um, uh, make as well. I was considering the Jolian before uh, this car was released. And then I've been following them on Facebook for about six months before I bought my car. Because I wanted to see the ups and the downs about um, Cherry. Obviously, back into the country, been 20 years, you know, I know that in... China, they are one of the biggest that you can get. So, you know, how is how will they do in the South African market? Um, from what I've seen, and, you know, there's a lot of messages you would have seen on the Facebook groups, um, the My Family, SA, Cherry, uh, as well as also on uh, uh, YouTube. There have been ups, there have been downs. Um, first thing first, people are complaining about the noise. Yes, there is a noise, but... And I've only experienced this on certain occasions when I've done over 160 kilometers an hour and <laughs> there's a crosswind of about 30 to 40 kilometers. So people down in the coast, unfortunately, you are going to be experiencing this, especially if you're going to be doing high speeds. Um, for the people up here in the inland, we don't really have much of high winds, um, except for maybe cross going fast on the highways, but that's about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've only had it twice. I mean, I've even sat at 190 k's an hour with no crosswind and there was, it was dead quiet. So it's only once you've got a crosswind and you're doing high speeds, will you actually hear the noise? Um, for noises and rattles, I've come across my, uh, infotainment system, the screen. The first time I got it, I drove it and there was a little bit of an, uh, a knocking noise. So I actually put my foot hand on it and pressed down and I heard a click and it actually just popped into position. No noise since. Um, I had a noise. I took the car to Cherry. I had one of the mechanics drive with me. We had a noise on the back left. He initially thought it was the pillar itself. I said to him, no, there's something else. And the one day I'm driving, but now when I was driving on rutted roads, sometimes it would make a noise, sometimes it wouldn't. 
So the one day I'm now I'm getting annoyed because the noise is getting a bit bad and I pull the handle on the back noise gone and it's been over two months now so I think something just wasn't clicked in there I have noticed that is one of the common I'm not gonna say common problems on the car um, but I have noticed that with a couple of the in uh, the trims um, where it's in but it's not clipped in properly so that is the first thing to see so if you hear something do yourself a favor try isolate the uh, noise and have a look if it's a part of a trim and then just play around with it and you'll 95% of the time I can guarantee you it'll just pop in um, those are the two noises I've had with the regards to the interior uh, no noises exterior except maybe wind noises but like I said that's from a crosswind um, like I said I can't fault this car um, I've, look I've driven many cars in the past couple of years uh, my previous car was an iX35, uh, nice car, nice space, didn't have any features, so it, mm, yeah. Um, but I mean, even if I compare now, the new Tucson that's just been released, it has the same features as the Tigo. Yes, it's a bit bigger, but it's 700,000 Rand. Why? Consider the Tigo 8. is 150,000 Rand cheaper than a base model Tucson. What the hell? So that being said, these manufacturers, they need to start looking at their pricing and start following China. I mean, even Haval, when Haval first came to South Africa, everyone thought, oh, you know what, Haval's going to be, take over because the pricing is cheap. Now, uh, Cherry have now decided they're going to do the same thing. But what has helped them is especially this warranty. Um, I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with it, if you've bought the car, you should be familiar with the warranty where it goes from five years, 150,000 uh, to 10 year, million kilometers, provided that you get serviced at, at, at uh, Cherry, Cherry themselves and you're the original owner and buying it from new. And yes, I have found out that does include if you buy a demo model. Um, because it has not been registered and it is a demo, you can still have your full kilometer, uh, million kilometer warranty. But if it's bought secondhand, sorry, no warranty for a million. Um, I'm trying to think of all the different things that I can tell you guys that I hate about this car. I, I can't. Um, my wife reckons that the aircon could be a little bit stronger. If you're climbing into the car and it's a hot day, it needs a few minutes to warm up. That's one thing I will say. I had a the, There was lack about the IX. That thing's aircon was within five minutes you had to switch it off because it felt like a fridge. Um, this one is good, but it just takes a little bit longer. I think the fans, I don't think the fans are strong enough. I just think the vent size is maybe just restrictive. Um, however, that being said, it does have this, um, air clean filter. So it's supposed to have some special filter to clean it up. So I have a feeling that might be also a little bit restrictive. Um, I'd like to do actually do a comparison with the filter in and out. What is it? What, what's the difference? Um, Obviously, you want to keep the filter in to keep your cabin clean as well as your, um, you know, dust free. Um, yeah, one thing I will say to you guys that I have uh, put a message onto the group about this. When you're driving an automatic, you've got to make sure when you stop the car to park it, make sure to put it into neutral first, then pull up your handbrake. Once you have done that, then put your car into park. The reason being that it has an interlocking pin that holds into... This is generally when you're doing a DH, uh, DC, DCT gearbox or a normal automatic. I'm not too familiar about a CVT. However, I'd rather not take the chance. So it has an interlocking pin that goes into the gearbox to stop it from rolling. Um, and if you put it into park and then the handbrake, because of the way that it's put in, you're actually putting stress onto the pin and you can snap the pin after a long time and it wears away. Um, so just to prevent that neutral handbrake up then into park um let's see oh yeah it's got the usb like i said it's got two usb slots one that you put into the um usb flash drive that's where you can listen to the music as well as you can play movies you would have seen that on the videos the other one if you want to do android auto you need to make sure it is the original um cable you cannot use a generic it will not work properly. 
And what I've also noticed with the cabling as well is when you slot it into your cell phone, one side works better than the other side. So I don't know if you guys have experienced that. Um, um, this Android Auto, I know it's not part of Cherry, but Android Auto themselves, they really need to have a look at the programming of it. Um, I know that Cherry just gives you the functionality, but the app is actually on your cell phone. And it just basically mirrors it to the um, car. Uh, that as well. Also, you've got to be careful because it does, however, slow the system down because of this Android Auto. Um, it's trying to use, you know, two computers on one screen, basically. Um, I'm trying to think of all the different stuff. There are so many things I could go on about. Um, but I see that the, this video is already becoming like a 10-minute video. I do not edit any of my videos. So what you see is, you know, life as it currently goes. I'm not going to sit there editing videos. First of all, I'm using just a cell phone. <laughs> I will eventually, at some stage, when the subscribers are a bit higher, um, I'll get a, a proper camera and then probably do editing. But for now, yeah, I'm not going to be bothered with that. Um, I just want to be able to help you guys out with the car. Um, any questions you have, Any um, anything you want to know that I can help you guys out. Um, but yeah, look, I have been sending the videos. Have a look at there, see what you can watch. Um, please do subscribe because obviously it does help me. I also want to know how many people do, uh, are actually buying cars and buying the Cherry. Because I've seen some people are on the site but are not actually buying any cars. So I'd like to know how many have bought that are actually watching the video. Um, that being said, I have a lot of my customers as well as a lot of my friends that are busy buying cars. Um, I had my pastor two weeks ago, his uh, Chevy Spark engine uh, blew up, so they quoted him quite a bit to replace it, so he thought, no, you know what, he needs a newer, bigger car, so he just went and got himself a Cherry as well, a uh, similar model to mine, but he ended up taking the manual instead of the automatic, um, not that he does many kilos, so it doesn't really matter too much, whereas myself, I have done, if you give me five seconds, I'll wait for the screen to switch on, uh, I have done 23,360 kilometers since the 11th of May, and today is the 24th of October. Uh, and there the fan switch is on. Yeah, I had the aircon on before I was stopping because uh, it is a bit hot today, even though they've been talking about rain. But yeah, um, thanks guys so much for uh, watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. You guys must have a lucky day. Bye.